Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to show you guys a brand new box that we have received from Arno Group. It is called Novim. In this video, we will unbox and also going to show you what this will bring on the table for us. All right, so you can see that the box is very nicely designed. It has a little sleeve once we open it. The components that are part of it that is inside of this box is the actual Novim box and also comes with an IR remote, comes with an one HDMI cable, also a power adapter, which which is created for Canada and United States. It is five volt and also a user manual. Now the user manual has a lot of information which we will try to cover most of them on this video. So let's go next. You can see that once you take the little sleeve off for the box itself, it is very simple. There's no indication of which company this is from. And in the front, once you turn it on, it just comes with a little blue light going all the way around it. But let's go from the front, nothing in the front. Once you go on the side of it, you have one USB 2.0 no port in the middle you have the tf card reader which can read up to 128 gigabyte and then you have another usb 2.0 port going on the back part of it is where you're going to get from the left hand side you're going to see the antenna which is really good since this is come with a gigabit wi-fi next thing is the power which is 5 volt and then you have the 10 100 ethernet connection then you have the 2.0 hdmi connection and then you do have a little part so you can reset at the box if you ever require that and then you have the AV connection which the RCA cable or the adapter is not part of the box going on the other side of it there's nothing there but once you go on the bottom part of it you can see that it has four little legs and then you have some little holes right in the middle on the top part of it so that way it can breathe let's get this connected now as soon as you turn it on you're going to get the logo that will tell you this is Arno Box Novim it will go into a little animation screen and then automatically just goes into the screen itself. All right, so as soon as the launcher comes up, this is called Code Red Launcher, which is created by Arno Group and it is available to download and purchase from Google Play Store. You can see that the launcher is very nicely done. Again, this part should be filled out with the YouTube icons and it's basically the feet but for some reason it's not showing up for us and going in here you can see all the apps that are already installed on this and also some that we installed for testing purposes to make this video again we can do more i do not want to forget we will cover a few things here but if you want to go in there are a few things that is very good with this box something like the cloud word sync and here when you go in you can actually install a lot of apps just directly from arno box servers something like firmware if we do require it to be up to date if you believe it's not up to date you can click this and it will be able to provide it from here if you do want to factory reset it this is a place to come to factory reset it very easily another thing you can request them for certain apps if they do have it they can just put the code here and it will work same thing with cloudword it will work for you too if you want to search for certain apps you do not remember the code you can do it in here also it will really help you out the next thing we want to do will be some benchmarking so the first thing we're going to go through is going to be Antutu you can see right now the result that we had for this is 33,893 it's a really good number for an S905X chipset and you can get that information by going into information up down here you can see that it is Arno Box Novim and you can see that it is running 6.01 one 32 bit yes and again you can see right now that we are set up under 1080p and the molly 450 is there too but going down it will give you a lot more information something like the cpu is quad core arm v7 processor and yes you can go more down it is running on 64 bit but again since the software itself is on 32 bit that's where you see that part but going down it has way more information that you require inside of this app the next thing we want to go inside is going to be the geekbench now in here you can get a lot more information you can see that it is Arno Box running which OS the CPU is ARM AM logic and also the cluster that the way that they set it up is one core is running under zero Hertz then the three cores are running under 1.51 gigahertz so that's how they, they have done it and now when we try to run the benchmark under single core we got 641 and under multi core we got 1836 remember these are just ARM based chipsets so yes the numbers are a little bit lower than your phones since I'm getting some of these messages through YouTube and more so we will get out of this too the next thing we, we went through was the 
speed test. So under result, you can see that the first thing we have done was the LAN connection. And under LAN connection, since this is a 10100 connection, we only received 35.91 for the first time for downloading and for uploading, we only got 14.55. I know that this part will need a little bit more tweaking in order to get a better result since other boxes can do even better with the same type of chipset. Same thing for the second time when we tried, we only received 38.17 megabits per second and upload rate was only 14.46 megabits per second when we tried it with the 2.4 gigahertz which is single band wi-fi we received 36.44 and upload rate was only 15.45 same thing when we tried it for a second time we got a little better result which was 40.98 for the download and 18.81 for the upload when we tried it with 5 gigahertz which is dual band wi-fi we received 164 0.49 for the first time that's a megabits per second and then for the second time we received 21.67 which is for the upload when we tried it for the second time we received 1.82 which is way better number and then our upload rate was perfect which is 20.51 this means as the wi-fi it works even better than the lan connection in this case the Wi-Fi part has done their job properly. We really enjoy that part. We will get out of that too. So the next thing we did was we went under YouTube. Now under YouTube, you can see that the file that we're running right now is one of our own video. But once we go under quality, you can see that the maximum rate is 1080p. Since this is a tablet version, yes, it will not show you anything over 1080p, but it works perfectly. And you can see that there's no stoppage on this and again this is our own video we will get out of that too so the next thing what we did was we went under drm checkup now with this the three out of seven drm that means netflix hd is not compatible with this box we will get out of this too the next thing is the root checker and a lot of people would like this and yes this one has a full root access so this way you can do more with the software on this box so a lot of people do request this so here it is the next thing that we have done is going through Kodi. So this is Kodi. In order to check it, we will go under settings and we will go under system information. And this is where you're going to see that this is Kodi 17.4 compiled on August 22nd, 2017. Remember that once we got the box was only Kodi 17.3. But since it got upgraded to 17.4 and we do run the Google Play Store in order to update everything on these boxes, we had to update it to 17.4. So you can see that it is working on the latest version of Kodi. So in that case, we will go under file section and we will go under files. And we have already mapped a drive that we have on our network, which is running on 10100 connection. And we try to play this on this box. So first we will try our 4K video and let's see how fast it will grab the file and it will play it for us. And yes, that little glitch is just because it gets it from the network and plays it. I think that's the only part that we are getting from the Kodi itself. But when we try to play it outside of it, it does not get us that little glitch, but it plays it perfectly for us. And we will go under 1080p video. You can see that automatically it just plays it for you. There's no glitch, there's nothing, and it will automatically play. We try to do this on a network so this way you have an idea. If you do want to install third party add ons or anything like that on these boxes, it would work perfectly. But our intention is not third party add on, but your own network running on landline. So that way it would work perfectly for you. So this is the 1080p and also 4K video that we have captured and we will get out of this too. All right, so this was our take on the Arno Box Novim. We will be placing links where you can order this from and also some more information about this unit at the bottom of this video. At the meantime, I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is exitex.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.